In this tutorial, we will look at the different ways in which you can mix from tune to tune. This will focus on the classic skills for mixing records together that every DJ should be familiar with. First of all, open up the How to Mix Live SAT, which is included as part of the Ableton DJ course download. This SAT includes two separate audio tracks, and these are called Deck A and Deck B. I'm going to map Deck A to the A side of Live's crossfader, and Deck B to the B side. To make this easier when mixing, I also want to use a MIDI controller, and so I'm going to enter MIDI map mode, and then assign the crossfader and the track volume faders. If you've chosen to use an external DJ mixer rather than Live's crossfader, then you should open up the in out section and adjust the audio two settings accordingly. Okay, let's go. The simplest mix to do as a DJ is the blend, and this consists of fading one record in over the top of the other. I'm going to start both records together and we'll hear this in action. Presently, we can only hear deck A because the crossfader is fully over to the left. I'll now press the Q button on deck B so that I can hear the second record through my headphones. When I'm ready, I'll start the blend and gradually bring the crossfader into the middle. This slowly fades the second record in over the top of the first one. Now the crossfader is in the middle, you can hear both records equally. When you're ready, continue moving the crossfader over so that the first record slowly fades out. It's as easy as that. You can also do blends by using the volume faders on each track. To do this, first of all move the crossfader to the middle position, or if like me you're using Live's queuing system, simply deselect both tracks from the crossfader. Then turn the volume up on deck A and down on deck B. Let's start both records again. When you're ready to start the mix, slowly fade the volume up on deck B. Both records are now playing together. To complete the mix, slowly fade the volume down on deck A. Blend to the bread and butter mix for the majority of DJs, however they can vary greatly in how they're carried out. For example, hip hop and R&B DJs will typically only blend records together for a few beats or a couple of bars before it's faded into the next record. In contrast, DJs who play long progressive styles of dance music can continue mixes going for minutes on end so that it's almost impossible to tell when one record stops and the next one starts. With practice, blends can be made to sound more professional with careful use of the EQ controls and good timing, both of which we'll come to shortly. The alternative way to mix from doing a blend is to do a cut instead. This is where you chop suddenly from one record to another. Cuts work particularly well for styles of music when a long mix isn't necessary and a quick change from tune to tune keeps the energy of the dance floor up. To do a cut, you need to wait for the right moment in the music and then quickly chop the crossfader across from one side to the other. Let's hear a simple cut. Cuts can be used creatively in many different ways. One of the main techniques is to tease the crowd with snippets of the upcoming tune, which creates a lot of fun and excitement. I'm now going to play the two records together and cut across using the crossfader for the fourth beat of each bar and then back into the first record. This gives the audience a snippet of what's coming up. <laughs> Here, I'm cutting between
between the records on every four beats. Now on every two beats. And now on every beat. It's worthwhile to take some time to practice doing cuts during a mix. It can take a bit of time to get them in the best position and to sound right. For example, you need to make sure that the record you're cutting into fits well with the one you're cutting out of. If you cut into a record and the beat on the new one significantly quieter or less developed than what had been playing out loud, then you may get an unwelcome drop in the energy of the music. Another useful mix to practice is to do a blend, slowly fading the second record in, and then when the right moment comes, quickly cut the first record out. This can be utilised to great effect if the second record comes quickly to a climax. As this happens, you can use it as an opportunity to cut the first record out. This could be the moment when the main part of the tune kicks in, or when the vocals or a bass line drops. Let's hear this in action. There you go, that sounded like a really effective mix. This is the end of How to Mix 1. This tutorial continues in How to Mix 2, where we look at how to control the volume levels, EQ, and how to mix creatively with EQ.